CIET NCERT presents audio book of environmental studies textbook for class 4 entitled looking around this is the chapter 1 going to school from page 1 to 10 page 1 going to school let us meet some children and see how they read school. We have the picture of a bamboo bridge from Assam on the page. The picture shows some children crossing the bridge with books in their hands. Under the picture is written, It rains so much where we live. Sometimes after the rain, there is knee-high water everywhere. But that does not stop us from getting to school. We hold our books in one hand and bamboo with the other. We quickly cross the bamboo and rope bridge to reach school. Activity Try these. There is a picture on the page with three girls and one boy playing in the ground. The children have some bricks laid out before them. Under the picture is written, Collect some bricks. Lay them on the ground in a line as shown in the picture. Try walking on them. Was it easy? Make a small bridge by tying four or five bamboo poles together. Ask your teacher to help you. Now walk on your bridge. How did you feel? Did you fall down? If you walk like this a few times, you will start finding it easy. Do you think it would be easier to walk on this bridge barefoot or with shoes or slippers? Why? Page 2 There is a picture of trolley in Ladakh on the page with the text written around the picture. The Trolley Every day we have to cross the river to get to school. The river is wide and deep. There is a strong iron rope across the river. On both the sides it is tied tightly with strong trees or rocks. There is a trolley, an open box made of wood attached with the rope. Four or five of us sit in the trolley. A pulley helps the trolley to move across the rope. We reach the other side of the river in a short time. Activity Let us do We have two pictures here, where children are pulling buckets from the well. In one picture, pulley is being used and in the other, the boy is pulling the bucket by hand. Under the picture is written, Observe pictures 1 and 2. In the pictures, children are pulling the buckets from the well. Can you tell the difference in both the pictures? Which would be easier, using the pulley or not using it to lift things? Look around you. Where all do you see the use of pulleys? List them. With the help of a pulley, try and lift various things as shown in the picture. Page 3 Cement Bridge There is a picture of a cement bridge on the page. We often need to go across some water bodies, so we use bridges. These are made of cement, bricks and iron rods. The bridge may also have steps. Below the picture we have some questions. Question. How is this bridge different from a bamboo bridge? Question. How many people do you think can cross the bridge at one time? You have seen how children use different kind of bridges to cross rivers and other uneven areas to reach school. Question. If you had a chance, 
Which bridge would you like to use? Why? Question. Do you have to cross any bridge on the way to your school? If yes, what is the bridge like? Draw its picture. Question. Find out from your grandparents what kinds of bridges were there when they were young. Page 4. Question. Is there any bridge near your house? Find out more about the bridge. Question. Where is the bridge? Over water? Over a road? Between two mountains? Or somewhere else? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Who all use the bridge? Is it used by people on foot? and also by vehicles and animals? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Does the bridge seem to be old, or is it new? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Find out what materials are used in making this bridge. List some of them. Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Draw a picture of the bridge in your notebook. Do not forget to draw the train, vehicles, animals or people who cross the bridge. Question. Imagine what difficulties there would be if the bridge was not there. Let us find out some other ways by which children get to school. There is a small picture from Kerala in a box with some text. Vallam In some parts of Kerala, we use a vallam, which is small wooden boat, to reach school. Page 5 Question Have you seen any other kind of boats? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. Can you think of other ways by which we can travel on water? Write your answer in the blank space provided. There is a picture of a camel cart from Rajasthan with some text written below it. The text reads as We live in the desert. There is sand all around. It gets very hot in the day. We ride in a camel cart to reach school. Question. Have you ever sat in a camel cart or horse carriage, Tonga? Where? Did you climb on it yourself or did someone help you? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. How did you feel riding in the cart? Also, share your experience in the class. There is a picture of village in the plains about a bullock cart, which has many children on it with an umbrella, and we have some text. Bullock cart. We ride in our bullock cart, going slowly through the green fields. If it is too sunny or raining, we use our umbrellas. For the teacher, how do animals feel when made to pull cart? Discuss issues to develop sensitivity towards animals. Page 6 Question. Do you have bullock carts where you live? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Does it have a roof? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. What kind of wheels do they have? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Make a drawing of the cart in your notebook. There is a picture of many girls riding on a bicycle and some text next to it. The text reads as Bicycle ride. We ride our bicycles on the long road to school. At first, Girls here did not go to school because it was too far. But now, groups of seven to eight girls easily ride even through the difficult roads. 
Question. Can you ride a bicycle? If yes, who taught you to ride? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. How many children come on bicycles to your school? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Page 7. There is a picture of a vehicle from Gujarat with some text next to it. The text reads, Jugar, what a vehicle! Look at our special transport. It sounds put 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 when it runs. Is it not something special? The front looks like a motorcycle, but the carriage at the back is made out of planks of wood. Question. Do you have such vehicles in your area? Write your answer in the space provided. Question. What do you call them in your area? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. Would you like to ride in something like this? Why? Write your answer in the blank space. Question. Can you tell why it is called Jugar? Write your answer in the blank space. The Jugar has been made by using waste material. Why don't you also try to make something by putting together some waste material? Can you think of a place where none of these vehicles can reach? Yes, there are such places. Page 8 there is a picture with some children going through a jungle with some text. Children cross the jungle. We have to go through a thick forest to reach school. At some places it is so thick that even sunlight does not pass through. It is also very silent there. You can only hear the sounds of different birds and other creatures. Question. Have you ever been in a thick jungle or any such place? Write your answer in the space provided. Question. Write your experiences in your notebook. Question. Can you recognize some birds by their sounds? Can you imitate the sounds of some birds? Do it. There is a picture of northern hills with some girl students going through the snow. The text next to the picture reads, Moving on the snow. See how we read school. We go to school through miles of snow. We hold hands and walk carefully. If the snow is soft, our feet sink into it. When the snow is frozen, we may slip and fall. Question. Have you ever seen so much snow? Where? in films or somewhere else. Write your answer in the space provided. Page 9. Question. Do you think that such places have snow all the time? Why? Write your answer in the blank space provided. There is a picture of Uttarakhand with many rocky mountains where the students are going through. The text next to the picture says, Rocky Paths We live in the mountains. The paths are rocky and uneven. The children who live in the plains will find it difficult to walk on these. But we can easily race up and down. No matter whether there is a dense forest, farms, mountains or snow on the way, we manage to reach school. Question. Do you face difficulties on the way to your school? Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Which is the best month in which you like to go to school? Why? Write your answer in the blank space provided. See me walk. Go to a ground or an open space with your friends. Act the way you will walk in these situations. The ground is made of soft and smooth rose petals. The ground is covered with thorns and there is tall grass on the sides. The ground is covered with snow. 
Was there a difference in the way you walked each time? Discuss. For the teacher. Discuss different modes that children use to come to school. Help them identify the possible dangers and discuss the safety aspects. You may discuss with them environment-friendly ways of travelling. Page 10 there is a caption, No Punishments, in a picture with some text next to it. From Children's Pen Failed in the test. Thirty rulers. Fooled around in the test. Fifteen rulers. Homework not done. Eight rulers. Nails, teeth, dress not clean. Thirty setups. Having fun in class when teacher is out. Stand on one leg for two hours. Not back in class after the recess. Stand on the bench with your hands up in the air for one hour. Sagar Mishra, Class 5, Chakmak, August 2006, Devas, Madhya Pradesh. Talk and share about it. Question. Do you also have punishment in your school? What kind? Question. Do you think that punishment should not be there in schools? Question. If you come across any such incident, whom will you inform? Question. How will you make a complaint? Question. Is punishment the only solution to misdeeds? Make some rules for school to prevent misdeeds. Write your answer in the blank space provided. Question. Draw a picture of your dream school in your notebook and write about it and share in the class. For the teacher. The purpose behind giving this column is to totally discourage punishments in schools. Discuss this issue sensitively in the class. Encourage the students for self-discipline. The chapter 1 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India